Oh, we have the dance, so that means it's really good. <laughs> yeah, it's not just about the food either. It's just like, there's a lot here. A lot of nostalgia. And a quick changing Hong Kong is like something you kind of want to like hold on to and experience. You know? Hey everybody, I'm Daniel. Today I'm with Cartoon and we are in Hong Kong. <laughs> So we're we're uh, we're off to find some uh, some like street food style uh, wonton noodles. Um, it's a very HK thing, and uh, yeah, we're over in the uh, TST neighborhood, so the Tim Tim Satsui neighborhood on the Kowloon side of uh, Hong Kong, and um, yeah. <laughs> This, it's been a while since I've been, been been back, you know, but all like the iconic, like the nostalgic memories are still there, you know, like the red taxis, like the bamboo construction, the, uh, I'm lost. <laughs> all right, I, I found what I was looking for right here. Uh, we're still a little early, so it's not open quite yet, but it should open soon, and then we're gonna, we're gonna head in there. Get some noodles, some big juicy wonton looking stuff. I was checking it out on Google, it looks pretty good. Um, so yeah, these things first, in front of a 7-Eleven. Gotta go buy some napkins. <laughs> yeah, cartoons are in here, but that's, that's a pro tip. You like never get any napkins in the local street foodie stalls in Hong Kong. So you gotta buy them yourself. <laughs> They, they had it at the front here. <laughs> Out of here, so everything's always crowded in Hong Kong. But yeah, so you always need to get like those like tissues or the nap napkins because or else you're gonna leave with like greasy fingers and a great greasy face. <laughs> Did you get temp tempo? Yeah. Yeah, this is the cl classic brand. The classic. Yeah. <laughs> So now we're set. All right, so we're just waiting for uh, the spot to open up. Should be any time now. All right, the metal door. Wow, someone's already waiting too. <laughs> we're already here. I guess just go, huh? check it out. Uh, all those fresh noodles right there. Uh, looks good. <laughs> I mean, it seems like we got some pictures of like celebrities on the wall. Huh? Oh. Wow. Make sure I don't make sure there's no bleach on those chairs. I don't want my butt white afterwards. <laughs> Uh, all right, so I think you're just gonna do like the wonton noodle, right? Yeah, I guess that's the uh, that's, that's what oh, they got Thai as well. How funny, yeah. Yeah, I just want this one. Yeah, all right, let's do it. This place is so local, it's crazy. Like, it's just like wow. Just look at this place. There's no one in here now, so I just gotta like ah, look at that. <laughs> Nuts. Mm. Oh, so she was the one that walked around the corner. Oh, I thought she was like customer. I was like, wow, she like she came in so fast. Like pretty funny. Uh, they just opened. It's already filling up. One minute to. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. So you you also got the wonton nudes. Uh, yeah. This is crazy. I don't think I've ever been into a restaurant like this in Hong Kong, Kong or like anywhere. It just has like so much interesting vibes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. I like the cardboard on the floor for the like no slip. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like I mean look, it's like my leg it just like slides around, yeah. <laughs> you gotta be careful. And he's just doing it up like right there. It's crazy. I wonder if he's gonna let me shoot. So yeah, so you're like standard setup. <laughs> so cool. They aren't actually preparing it yet, so just wait, I guess. <laughs> Huh? I'm ready. Oh, yeah. I think he's doing it now. I want to watch him do it. It's okay? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> wow. This is like their kitchen, all the fresh veg. Man, it looks really good. Got all the noodles set up. You got the wontons there. There's our bowls. <laughs> Super cool. The wontons going in. Oh, awesome. <laughs> uh, Katum, should we get vegetables? <laughs> We have eaten no vegetables on this whole trip. Because <laughs> they have them right there. They just like boil them and they add the oyster sauce on top. Oh, it's fine. Wow, thank you. Dang, look at this. Holy smokes. This looks incredible. I mean, just look at these wontons. Massive. Wow, all those onions. These noodles look amazing too. Yeah, these are like thicky wontons. Like they're so like they look great. There's a shot. Like to go for the broth a little bit. Oh, yeah. Like a salty bone, bone broth. Nice and clean. Uh, and then this, this bowl is like just overwhelmingly loaded. I mean, can you guys see this? It's like just. There is just like zero room for anything. We got some veg on the bottom. Four wontons and just like a, a ridiculous amount of noodles, my god. This is nuts. <laughs> mm. Wow. The noodles are so thin and they have like quite a bite to them. Very interesting. Uh, with like the onions, I don't know, this is really good. It's just like a good classic long time shrimp, pork, sesame oil. Just good. Oh. Kind of went crazy.
lazy on the noodle portion though, it's like... <laughs> it's kind of nuts. We might want to get a little creative with the sauces at this point. They seem to have a couple of options. Some chili oil. And I hit a little of that. And then some white pepper. I think, yep. Now we're getting closer to the Thai style. <laughs> Get that nice and mixed up. Always try it standard if it's your first time. That's always my recommendation. Now I've uh, added some condiments. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Like actually. the first time. <laughs> mm. Mm. Wow, check this out. <laughs> this is just like incredible. Giant, giant wontons. This broth has some color to it because of the chili paste. <laughs> Actually, those are more like chili flakes. I don't know if I would call it like a chili paste. It's like your standard Chinese style, like roasted chili oil in a way. Yeah. Definitely good, good, good stuff there. How do you like it? <laughs> There's so many noodles in that bowl, right? It's nuts. It's so packed, yeah. That's crazy. I didn't put any sauce on. I wanna like well, try the like This is white pepper and that's chili flakes, so no. but the soup, my shell is so good too. Yeah, amazing. I think it's like a pork pork broth. Yeah. The lighting's so tough in these kind of places. <laughs> it's all like fluorescent. Yeah. Yeah. Hot and shrimp. Yeah, it's amazing. It's pork, shrimp, and some like sesame oil. It's really good. Really hot. <laughs> Wait, oh, we have the dance. So that means it's really good. <laughs> I am. I am a happy camper. Don't steal my dan. Huh? Don't steal my dan. I'm not dancing. You did. <laughs> Alright, I'm stealing your dance. This is really amazing. Ooh. Drop the chop chop sticks. Oh. Yeah, with the chili flakes, it really brings out like. It's spicy, so be careful with that stuff. Let me try. Mmm. Oh. The shrimp wontons are like next level. Mm. Yeah. 
take some chili in there? Did I put too much? Um, maybe. <laughs> they also have like soy. If you wanna do that. The only thing that's missing is like the Thai condiments because we could just as easily be in Bangkok right now. It's like crazy. Chili yeah, with like the Thai, Chin Chinese, but like the, the condiments are different here. You know? With the base soup, there's places like like that in Bang Bangkok as well. That's a clean version. Yeah. It's spicy, yeah. But the noodles here, I like. Like there's 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 almost not a lot of springiness. They're just like really good. You know, like really nice. Like, I don't know, it tastes like your normal noodle with something more, like a little sweet, I don't know why. Yeah. Like, I happen to the dim sum too, remember? Yeah. Like, there's something special, but I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's some like intangible. Huh? I guess it gives you soup? <laughs> Probably because maybe you're not gonna finish that, so... What? Okay. Let me just go in and crush this last one on top. Oh. There's so much like it's it's almost like a, like a salmai. Like it's just like really bursting with porky shrimpy flavor flavor. Mm. Yeah. Wontons are a big deal here. It's not these like little tiny lame. I mean, they're like serious. <laughs> mm. So cool. Yeah, it's a really small little place. Starting to fill in a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, just like everything from, and it's hard to explain, but this is like an experience, man. It's a vibe. You got like the little plastic coat containers, like, I don't know, like the, the tile, like the plastic curtains. I mean, there was like a red, a, a red taxi that just drove by. I mean, it's just, I don't know. Like, it's a very like, it's like the, it's a great experience. It's pretty cool. I'm pretty happy. It's not just about the food either. It's just like, there's a lot here. A lot of nostalgia and a quick changing Hong Kong is like something you kind of want to like hold on to and experience. You know? yeah. So I just realized while I'm trying to fin uh, finish off cartoon stuff is they have red vinegar, which I absolutely love. And that is definitely a super Hong Kong style condiment for sure. Let's, let's see how it changes the profile of the soup.
gonna leave it to here. It's getting crowd crowded in here. We gotta get out of here. So only like 20 minutes after they open. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> catch you in the next video.